Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are on the road and look, we picked up some strays. <laughs> <laughs> Al and Cindy from back home actually hooked up with us in South Dakota, which is super cool. We had a great night sitting around the campfire last night. And uh, this morning we are headed to the Crazy Horse uh, Memorial. Um, neither of us, any of us have been to that. We'll so see we're what pretty crazy excited horse has see what Crazy and, uh, Horse has. Go from there, yeah. See what other trouble we can get up to this morning. <laughs> so we are at the Crazy Horse Memorial. You can see the carving behind. We're gonna jump on a bus and um, get to the base closer, of it. I believe. I think. Get closer, so we can and see it a little bit better. And this is the 134th scale model right behind us. Some of the equipment they used for drilling and blasting and stuff. And when he started, he climbed up stairs, like 700 stairs or something, and used like drill steels by hand, hammering in for the first blast. Kind of crazy. The sun will shine on you. are going to make our way to Keystone, right? Yes. Keystone. We're going to go through Keystone, through Keystone. on our way to Sturgis. And just because we've never been to Sturgis, yep. not that we really have anything to see there, but we're going to drive <laughs> through it. And then we're going to go through Deadwood, which seems like people want to go there, but I don't know. It's not about a movie or TV show or something, but uh, we're going to pass through Deadwood too. That's the plan. Take some back roads and uh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be really hot. Um, so in Keystone, there's a large wood carving. There's been a lot of these wood carvings throughout South Dakota that we've seen. Um, there was the jackalope in Wall. Um, where was that? We saw there was a buffalo. And there's Smokey the Bear in Hill City. And now in Keystone, there's Bigfoot. Perfect, right? So we're gonna go check that out, take some pictures, and then, yeah, see where the rest of the day takes us.
Good morning guys. We are here this morning just outside of Sturgis, South Dakota. We came into Sturgis last night coming from the south. We uh, took some back roads across from 44 I think uh, into Sturgis, Nemo Road and some Banlocker Canyon I think it was called road. And we just did a drive through Sturgis because we hadn't been there before but of course not much going on. It's not uh, bike rally time or anything. Looks pretty shut down. And now we're heading up 14A west going towards Deadwood. We only came 10 minutes out of town maybe and we pulled in last night on this Camp 5 road which is just off the 14A and it's a, a state land or whatever area that allows 14 day camping. So we just got a little spot not far off the road here and um, had a sleep. Watched a little TV, went to bed, had something to eat, and um, now this morning we're just making some coffee and hitting the road. It's going to be really hot today, so like 34 Celsius or something like that, 100-ish. And um, we're going to go through Deadwood and then up. I've seen some really cool back roads too, kind of like those ones we took yesterday that are really windy. So instead of getting on the big highways, we're just going to head for that, I think. And then it's going to turn our hour drive to to Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower. We're going to go to Devil's Tower. To turn It's going to turn our hour drive to Devil's Tower into about a two-hour drive to Devil's Tower. But it, that was a really nice road we drove yesterday. So if we can get something like that, I'd rather do that than just shoot down the highway. So let's see what it's like. Mm -hmm. stop as tourists in Spearfish Canyon. Pretty wicked in here. There's uh, a creek and we're in this tight canyon all the way coming down. It's pretty nice. So we're taking some pictures. <laughs>
<laughs> Do we Thank have you. to go where the trailers go or because we have the little tow behind? You know what I would do? I would actually park this and take your Jeep up and drive up. It'd be a lot easier. But yeah, there oh, is yeah. that. Oh yeah. You'd have to drop either one though. Okay. okay. Per yeah. Perfect. Sure you cool. Thank you. Hello from Devil's Tower. Hey. So I think this is going to be our last stop in the Black Hills, which I think we're still in the Black Hills here at um, Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Yes. But um, the Black Hills in West, or I think in West, West Virginia. No. <laughs> South Dakota. South Dakota. We're pretty freaking awesome. We follow lots of motorcycle roads. And if you are traveling and you want to find the good roads, get a motorcycle map mm -hmm. because there was some amazing roads there. So our next stop after we check out Devil's Tower is the Grand Tetons in Wyoming. <laughs> we're so close. So the, we're we're on the uh, on the border right now. We're right, close we're to the Wyoming border now. of yeah. Wyoming and Montana. We kind of just pop into Wyoming for a little bit. So oh. we're a little Wyoming and Montana. Well, you mean when we go to Grand Tetons? Yes. Yeah, that'll be close. Yeah. I'm not sure. So. Yeah, so we just crossed from South Dakota into Wyoming. It's just confusing, man. <laughs> We're going to check out this big stump and then, uh, or whatever it is. That's what legend says. Yes. The, I'm sure, the, it sure looks like one. So the legend says, Native American legend says that there were seven children, six girls, uh, one boy. And as they were out for a walk, the boy turns into a bear and attacks his sisters. The sisters run, the bear's chasing, and they get to a um, ancient stump. And the, the, the tree of this stump beckons them to climb. So they climb to the top, and when they do, the stump rises out of the ground. Um, the brother, bear, now a bear, um, still trying to kill them, claws at the stump creating what you see looks like claw marks uh. yeah so he never gets them and then they become stars and i can't remember over what the name of the area is but that's native legend okay so paraphrase let's, let's go check out the stump <laughs> Our first climbers, they're like halfway up the column there, around there. <laughs> but Marianne will get a better picture with her camera, it has a lens that can reach a little better. Must have been some pretty extreme weather through here. Maybe a tornado or something. Yeah. The trees down and just snapped off like crazy. Look at this tree behind you. Look here. It's like a forest of carnage beside the Devil's Tower. Yeah. Just snapped. Wow. They got speed bumps in the trail for the really sporty people to slow them buggers down. <laughs> Well, 
That wasn't bad for a 10 mile hike. 10 mile hike. <laughs> 9.6 miles, is that what it was? No. Oh, 1.6. 1.6 miles. Right.